Hello folks and welcome. So today I have an advanced video for you. Uh, automated way to back up your personal folders to another hard drive. So I have installed another hard drive on my console computer. You can do this with an old hard drive or, or, or get a new one. Uh, some of the newer solid state drives are getting pretty cheap. In either case, I'm going to show you an automated process. Uh, I'll show you uh, a way to do this manually and then also have the system do it for you. In other words, uh, sync up folders to another hard drive. This is considered a medium to advanced video. I will try to keep the technical jargon low so anyone can uh, follow this if they want to try this on their own. But I will suggest heavily that you watch the video in its entirety to get all the tips that I'm about to show here. So uh, none of my new YouTube site videos are less than two minutes. Uh, they all have chapters though and timelines. So I highly encourage that you subscribe if you don't have enough time to watch this in one sitting. That way you can uh, just pick up where you left off. If not, uh, bare minimum, I would probably suggest possibly uh, just bookmark this if you don't want to sign up with a Google account. In either case, folks, welcome. And uh, again, this is considered medium to advanced usage. So I'm going to first give you system information. And my user for today is Mr. Max. So that would be NeoFetch. And we are talking Pop OS 2204 LTS, long-term support. And this is the GNOME desktop. So I have a hard drive that I installed on my computer. Not a new one, but uh, more importantly, it's an internal hard drive that I called Backup HD1. And it currently has no files in it. If you don't know how to inst uh, well, if you don't know how to format a hard drive, hopefully you know how to install one if in case you wanted to install one on your console computer. Um, you know, most of your new hard drives hard drives nowadays only have two cables, usually a SATA cable and a power cable. But formatting the drive, I'll talk about that also in this video. So I have my home folder in here, and um, I made a file, a folder called script files, and then I wrote a script file using a text editor. And this is the script file. So script files are written in a text editor. They normally don't have extensions. As a matter of fact, they don't have extensions, period. Um, and then the first line is what I call bin bash, and then the um, line two and three are actually performing the work. So it's using rsync. And you can look up the uh, rsync commands also online. So I'm using the command dash a with a space with a tilde music on it. So that means home folder music that I'm going to sync up to uh, media Mr. Max backup HD1. Media Mr. Max is my user and the name of the hard drive is uh, backup HD1. So basically I'm going to sync up music and pictures to that hard drive that I pointed to earlier. This one right here. That's currently empty. Alright, so I'm going to uh, first talk about where this is located and I can manually execute this file I'll leave this up for a second if you wanted to take a good look at that you can always do a screenshot on your end or take a digital photo of this thing or just hand write it down if you're interested now whenever you create these script files also make sure that when you get done right click on them and make sure that you have permission set to allow executing file as a program that's important and you can now uh, run it as a program if I do that now, it'll actually start syncing these two folders. But I'm going to stop for a second and talk about something else that's important. Or maybe not to some folks. You know, a lot of times when I write script files and I don't put them in the startup folders, I forget to run them. That happens occasionally. So if you don't want to forget that and you want to have this done automatically for you to run this script file, for instance, during your login, or, or reboot process, then you can write that in here. So I'm going to type in S in the search field and look for the startup application folder in your pop OS. Click add and then give it a name. Now mine is, I'm going to close this for a second and just move it out of the way. 
and, uh, and I'll drag it over here so we can see both boxes. So I'm gonna use the name of the hard drive for this process. So I'm gonna hit add. So I'm gonna use the backup HD1 for the name of the startup program. That way I don't have to put comments. Comments are optional. However, the path is literal, so click that. Where is it located? Where is your file located? Okay, so my file is located in my documents folder under script files. So that's gonna be my path. So I'm gonna do this again. Browse, documents, I'm in Mr. Max documents, script files, and this is called bscript. It's just the name I gave it. Again, comments are optional, so I'm gonna hit add. The beauty of this is when you do this, you don't have to remember to run it. So this is gonna run, providing this check mark is on, you can turn it off if you want also. This will run every time you log on and log back in or reboot the computer. It'll perform the action of that script file. That's what these things do. They perform something, they perform an action. Well, in this case, it's gonna sync up my two folders here. And I'm gonna actually edit, edit this a little bit later to add the documents folder. And I won't even bother editing this at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna close it and forget about it now. But it'll run automatically. But I'm gonna actually do this manually for you first so you can see it. So I'm gonna use two windows to do this with so you can see this happening. And it's currently empty. And then I'll talk about formatting this drive. So I'm gonna actually run this thing. And what it's gonna do is briefly open up a text, um, sorry, a terminal box, and it'll create those two folders. I'll move this out of the way so you can see it's going on right now. And as soon as it's done, it blanks out. Now, after it's created this, since that there was a lot of pictures that I put in here, there's quite a few, as a matter of fact, you can see that. So this is identical copy of this right here. So under pictures, my home folder pictures, these are identical. I have a bunch of wallpapers. That's why it takes a couple of seconds to sync all this. And I don't think, I, yeah, it's just, just two screenshots there. But more importantly, it also made another one called music. All right, so these are all music albums. So if I add something in here to my home music folder and also my home pictures folder, I can have the sync, uh, the script file sync this, whether I do it through an automated process like during startup or manually. So let me grab a hold of some files. I'll uh, grab that JPEG and copy it and throw it into my pictures folder. So that's three items now and then something for the music folder. Uh, it doesn't have to be music, it'll just be something. How about, uh, how about this PDF here, for the printer manual? And we're dealing with, uh, sorry, music. I know it's not music, I'm, I'm just throwing a file in here. So let's go back to backup HD1. I still haven't synced up anything other than the original syncing. So these are, still have no reflection of, of this file here yet. Okay, so I'm gonna back this out. You don't have to, but I'm just backing this out totally because this is all gonna happen in the background. And then I'm gonna open up that script file one more time. I could log in and out of the system and let it do it automatically, but I'm gonna force it. I'm gonna right click on this and run it as a program. And it just blinks for a second. It's actually done. There's the extra file. And there's the extra JPEG. All right, let me talk about the drive for a second. It's uh, not gonna take very long. Uh, if you never used uh, GNOME Disk Utility, I actually do have a long video on this uh, that I posted three weeks ago or two weeks ago. Uh, it's actually 40 minutes long, but uh, I'll just give you the 411 today. So um, I plugged in this drive here. It didn't have a partition on it. So it's a used 240 gig drive that I plugged into this computer. Basically, it's a SATA type of drive, serial ATA. It only has two connectors, the little guy and the, the power connector. So, and then of course it had no partition. So all I did was hit the gearbox format 
gave it a name. In this case, I called it backup HD1. You can call yours, whatever. And I use internal disk extension four and then hit next and next. And then it formats it and you're done. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to alter this script file. I'm going to add another folder to the mix. A lot of common things that people do is back up their documents. You're making tons of changes in your documents. You probably want those backed up also. You know, music maybe once in a while, pictures maybe once in a while, but documents people are probably always changing, syncing up, adding, that kind of thing. Why am I highlighting this? Because I don't want to retype this. So I want to highlight the whole line, right click and copy it. And then on line four, I'm going to right click and paste it. Then I'm going to click on right next to pictures and use the back arrow key to eliminate the word pictures and type in documents. It's important that you will follow the um, spacing rules in here and also spelling. Spelling counts when you're doing this stuff. Okay. So I noticed, you know, the reason that there, there's a space in here, by the way, and this um, documents word is longer than pictures. That's why this is uh, the forward slash is a little bit forward. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now I'm going to hit save. The beauty of doing it this way, I don't need to edit this file right here. There's nothing I need to do to this. Nothing. As long as I don't change the name of this thing and leave the file in this area, I'm good to go. So I'm going to hit save and close. Now I'm going to rerun this and it's going to add another folder in here. There it is. This should match. So anyways, folks, the, the moral of this story here is back up your stuff. I've heard way too many nightmare stories over the years. People working on projects and they lost all their work. Some people, um, you know, doing their personal documents, music, pictures, you name it. Somebody forget to back up stuff. You know, back up your stuff. If you have the luxury of another hard drive, then do something like what I'm doing. If not, you can also back things up on a USB stick or an external hard drive. You can also back up stuff in the cloud if you have cloud services. But more importantly, I was just presenting just one idea for you today as far as backing up stuff on your internal hard drives using a script file. More importantly, folks, Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.